Hello, today we are going to make another one of the decorations that I saw for the Christmas Victorian at the Dr. Samuel Mudd House last year. And what we're going to do this time is the little mitten garland. Hold on, I'll insert a photo. Now, if you notice in that picture from the mud house, they actually used mittens. And I'm guessing that they got maybe the child size mittens from the Dollar Tree. But my Dollar Tree didn't have any, so I'm going to go with felt. Um, you can use whatever color you want. I'm using red because they use red. So we will need a piece of felt. And you can get four mittens. If you make them about the size I did, you can get four mittens out of one piece of felt. They hung theirs on wire, so I have a piece of wire here. Use whatever color, whatever kind you want. I just have some 20 gauge wire. I'm using a round nose plier. Now, this is cut about eight inches. Scissors, fabric paint, I'm using white, you use what you want. Now they have a ribbon around the wire and a little bow, and I didn't have anything comparable to what they had, and I'm just hitting up my stash. So I had this that I had gotten at maybe the Dollar Tree. Yeah, it looks like. Uh, and I just trimmed it so that it was more narrow. Then we need ribbon to hang this, the mittens on once we get them done. Watch me say, did I say stockings yet? I'm sure I will. Uh, we need some lightweight cardboard, a glue gun, paper, and a pen, a pen. I think that's it. Now I began by just taking a piece of paper, and we all know I can't draw. So, I don't know, a half hour later I finally had something I can use. So we're just going to draw a mitten, a whole lot better than this on a piece of just regular paper. You want to cut that out, trace it onto your card, your cardboard, cut that out so that we now have a pattern to use on our felt. Trace your pattern onto your felt and cut it out. And I've done all that in advance, so we'll go on from there. So here is my little mitten that I have cut out. And we're going to go around with glue gun, and I'm going to try to do this. If you are aware of my glue gun, glue gun challenge, you know this is not going to be easy for me. I would definitely sew it, but I'm trying to make it close to what they did. But we're just going to go around and glue this. Glue everywhere except for the top. Don't, don't glue your cuff closed because you could put candy canes or whatever you want in here. Be cute. And there was a huge blob of glue, but we expected that. Just continue around. Hot gluing this down. Probably hear the birds in the background. It's parakeets. All right. So there we have it. There's our little mitten. And now with our wire, this little hanging wire that they did, they have a circle at the top of it. So I'm going to take my round nose pliers and try to get it fairly centered. And I'm using it all the way down at the bottom of my plier. I don't want this loop to be too small. And now turn this so you can see. Now I'm just going to twist it. 
that's enough doesn't have to be perfect now if you'll notice theirs is just kind of haphazardly bent so I'm gonna do that as well put as many bends as you want now I'm not exactly sure how they attach theirs because you couldn't get that close to it but the way I'm gonna do it is I'm just gonna curl that end up a little and this one as well and then I'm gonna poke them through just this back side I'm sure you can see this just poke it right through here okay and now with the round nose let's close that up there we go uh oh all right let's do that on this side put that through all right through the back and then curl it up there we go and then of course you can you know adjust how you bent it and twisted it and whatever you want to do it's kind of cute anyway okay now let's get this ribbon on here it's gonna probably sh rip apart on the sides and stuff because this is not really the type of ribbon that we should be using but we're gonna use it so they just made a little bow here Well, the ribbon's holding better than I expected. I figured it would all shred up on me on the sides or whatever. Oh, it is a little bit now. <laughs> I think that's fine. Now let's trim this. There we go. Trim that one a little short, but that's all right. We will make it work. Okay. We're almost done. Now let's take some of our fabric paint and we're just gonna write a name. Make sure I'm in camera here. And there we are. This is how they made theirs. This is what they look like. But let's go a step further. Different mitten with me because the other one, the fabric paint is wet. Can't use that. Not this trim, this lace, and this type of trim that I got from AliExpress. And I was thinking we could wrap some trim i think that really makes a big difference if we wrap this trim around let's do this I'm trying to decide where the best place is to put this glue don't really want it oozing out everywhere you could use any lace you happen to have and I do just happen to have this lace. Let me see. Let's use something else to press this down. Let's put this over. Bring this around. I'm going to fold this piece here to give me a neater edge. So let's glue this to itself. Without getting burned and then let's glue this down on this side of the mitten okay bring 
this over, decide where we need to cut it. I'm going to cut mine right here. I'll fold this over. I oh, won't be able to fold that one all the way over. That's okay. We'll just fold it over a little bit. And I'm just going to go for it. Just going to glue it right now. So let's get this glued on. I realize I don't have a bow on this one yet. But that's okay. We'll put that on last. Oh my. I think that makes a huge difference. Now let's take this trim. Let's see how much we need of it. Glue strings everywhere. Get this out of the way. And let's go ahead. How cute is that? I guess we're going to have to glue these things. So let's glue these things. Let's glue these on. Flip this over. Am I still in the camera? No. Okay. It's not going to match up perfectly. But it's the back and nobody's going to see it. And what did I do with my scissors? Now see, you all saw that I did not move anywhere, but my scissors are missing. Found them. Okay. So I'm going to need it to be a little shorter rather than too long. So we're just going to do it like this. Put the glue here and figure we'll hit the glue eventually. And we pull this around. Okay, you would want that little gap there to be in the center, but I didn't realize I was going to have that gap. But that's all right. It's still turning out fine. Look at that. So much more Victorian feel to it. Okay, hold on. Let me get the ribbon. I almost forgot to include you with the rest of this. Let's tie this little bow and see what we have. Okay, let's trim this. There we are. How sweet is that? Okay, I'm going to decorate a few more, and I will be back. Okay, let's go through a few of these that I have made. For this particular one, I used lace ribbon that I got from the thrift store a long time ago. And AliExpress trim, these little rose trims. That's that one. For this one, I used... The ribbon that I got from AliExpress and I just folded it over and put it on and also the trim from AliExpress which I put across it and for these I used this ribbon which I got from the thrift store 
and I cut it to size to go around the mitten. And then this has wire in it, so I pulled the wire out and used that to make the hangers. And then I decorated them with buttons that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby or Joann's. And they're shank buttons. And I just cut the shanks off and glued them down. And then here's the one that we did together. So that's what I came up with. Now it's time to string them on some ribbon. Okay, here is the ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree. Now this has writing on it, so I'm going to have to make sure that I feed this through these mittens the correct way. You don't have to worry about that. Yours doesn't have writing on it. But we need these little rings to face sideways. So I'm going to go with the twist and oh, went against the twist. Okay. And just turn it sideways. And we're just going to feed it on here. And pull it through. And you'll just continue that until you get all of your cute little mittens onto your ribbon. And I think that if you're having an issue, it doesn't look like that I will have an issue, but if you have an issue with these sliding around on this ribbon and not staying where you need it to be, just take a pair of pliers and squeeze this little ring down to hold these in place. Maybe you could also put a touch of hot glue or however you want to do it. But that is it. That is our mitten garland. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.